Hello, this week David Icke as he's want to do released a video about me and he was ranting and defaming me and smearing me and people that I care about and first of all I thought I'm not going to respond to this he just sounds his usual unhinged self and people are quite used to that now certainly when it comes to David Icke talking about me however as the video progressed I realised actually these quite serious accusations he's making about me and I can't leave them to go by as if they mean nothing to me because unlike David Icke my reputation is a good solid one and I intend to keep it that way. Now first of all let me just clue you up. One of the reasons that David Icke is really really angry at this moment in time is because I'm making a documentary and I'm making a documentary based on my time at The People's Voice and based on my up close and very personal experiences of David Icke. I found David Icke, as I've already said in a statement, to be not the person that he claims to be and which he widely reports himself to be in his numerous books. Now, as I say, I found his statement this week just full of all manner of smears and defamation and I just want to correct a couple of those things. I want to make it very clear that the documentary we're making is not a personal Sonia Poulton versus David Icke, not at all, which is why I'm making this video now. Because the truth is, are you happy to allow yourself to be defamed by somebody who puts out to many people and you just leave it as if it means nothing? Well, answer that question because I personally am not. So let me just address some of the issues that he said. First of all, the issue of producers leaving me. David Icke, stop telling this one. It's a lie and it's provably a lie. You got rid of my first producer. You said that he was an absolute nightmare. His name was John. Um, and you came to me after a show and you said if I could see what was going on in the, the gallery I would die on air. You said John was extremely incompetent, couldn't do the job. You got rid of him and you moved him aside to work on Gareth's show because you said he had less responsibility and we didn't need to worry about him. That's the first producer. The second producer was brought in. You hated him. You said he was everything that you hated about the BBC. That producer eventually went off to Sky, but not before, I should add, messing around with my items including stopping a man called Bob Truther who was coming on air to talk to me about Woolwich being a false flag and that producer actually stopped Bob Truther from doing it. This is all verifiable. Go to Bob Truther, ask him what happened. The third producer, he approached me on Facebook and said, I can see you're having a hard time finding anybody decent to produce you at TPV. I'm a producer, I've worked in mainstream. What about giving me a try? So we brought him in. He turned out to be horribly incompetent, but much worse than that. He was actually messing around with the schedule while I was live on air. Now this was admitted in a blog by somebody who has since left TPV because there was a lot of very strange behaviour going on behind the scenes at TPV. So that's what happened with my producers. Secondly, David Icke claims that the reason I didn't take part in the first telethon was because I was angry that I wasn't um, sort of majorly involved. Not true. And I have a paper trail to prove it. There are two reasons why I didn't take part in that first telethon. One, I thought it was completely wrong asking for money when we hadn't even broadcast one programme. And two, I didn't agree with some of the guests who were involved, including Peter Tatchell, who promotes the issue of seriously reducing the age of consent. And I felt if we were going to have Peter Tatchell on, then we should really question him about that. Neither David or Richie Allen wanted to do that. Richie Allen ended up asking Peter Tatchell questions, which were issued by me. I have the email to prove it. So that's just showing the lie behind David Icke's words. Now what else? Money. He claims that I was so well paid at TPV. So not true. I worked at TPV from May 2013 until January 2014. I was living in Gloucestershire at the time before I moved up to London full time to work at TPV and I was travelling backwards and forwards between Gloucestershire and London twice a week on my own money frequently. I wasn't being paid for it. When I was finally paid some money, when I finally couldn't live on my freelance wages anymore because I was having to devote so much time to TPV, it balanced out that I was paid approximately £300 a month. Now, let us bear in mind that David Icke says that he's not going to reveal how much everybody was paid. We know that there was a ballpark of £75,000 paid in staff's wages. I'd like to know who those staff were that were being paid that. This is what I do know, is every single member of the Icke family 
worked on TPV. I would like to really see a breakdown of those wages to see who was paid and who wasn't, okay? Even including David's ex-wife worked on TPV advising David. So I don't think these people were necessarily working as volunteers and if they were, prove it. Hey David, because you're full of lots of accusations about me, but the truth is you can't back up what you're saying. Now what else do I want to comment on? Because it's really important to me. You attack two people that I'm working with and that I care about. The first one is Lee Ryan. You've constantly gone after Lee. Why I have no idea. When I was at TPV, Lee not only donated financially, but he gave of his time to come out and film free for TPV. He sent him food nearly every day for members of staff, and yet you loathe him, don't you, David? And you loathe him because Lee is everything that you're not. You go on about how Lee had made money, you know, winning the lottery, and then spent it all. Well, so what, David? That was Lee's money. The difference is the people's voices, the public money, what has been done with it. That's what we want to know. So, and also you go after Dave Eden. Dave Eden, who I'm working with on Unmasking a Messiah. Thank you for the plug instantly. Dave Eden, who you blithely re re refer to as a career police officer, come on David, another half truth. He is actually a commendable and admirable whistle-blowing ex-cop who you yourself feature on your website when you still actually quite liked him. So you see, problem is David, is that your lies, they just don't add up, do they? they you, you, they're so easy to pick apart. The most important one is this David, where are you gonna meet me for that face to face? Because it's all right you sitting, in front of a camera from your office and lying about me, but what about meeting me face to face, David, and answer some of those 37 questions I sent you back in April, eh, David? Asking you about whether you paid for your own advertising on TPV, asking you about a £10,000 check, eh, David? You remember that one? All those 37 questions that I will release to the public. You know why, David? Because I'm transparent and I stand up to scrutiny, unlike your good self. You need to stop this now, David. This is really looking very bad on you. I am responding because that is the right and decent thing to do. My reputation is what I have. I have worked hard to gain this reputation. It's been over two decades and everybody who knows me in media knows that I've got a good reputation, that I'm honourable and I stick by my word. The truth is, is that a lot of the people at TPV, I fought for them to have a salary. You and Sean Adel Tabatabai wanted them to be only volunteers, didn't want to pay them, did you, David? But I fought for them to have money. And now you say, oh, she left and nobody liked her. That's not true, David. The amount of people who have come forward and want to talk about you in this documentary. But I've said to them, no, no, this is not just about uh, you know, having an axe to grind. It's if you've got a serious concern, which I have, David, I have all the evidence to back up what I've been saying. I mean, all these accusations, you've actually been accusing me of, of hacking TPV, of going to advertisers, doing all manner of things. Where's your proof, David? As usual, the usual David Icke, lots of this, but no proof to back it up. Anything else now? Well, let me see. You go on about how I chase MPs. I do chase MPs. You know why, David? Because in the same way as I intend to hold you to account, I go and face them and I hold them to account. Because the difference between you and I, David, is I get out there and do it and you sit in your office sharing links from national newspapers and copy and pasting other people's work. Yeah? Sue me. Anyway, that's all I really want to say. You need to be told, David, really. You behave like an appalling, belligerent little boy. You have people following you called things like Light Energy who talk about you know, killing me, because that's what you promote. No wonder TPV was for the most part such a cesspit, because you and your behavior and what you really are behind the scenes are not capable of actually bringing in decent people who are going to create a new media. And that's what kills you most of all, David. And I'm sorry that it's like that, but I'm not prepared for the public to be fooled. I'm really not. Over half a million pounds is missing. And the question still remains, David, is this. What happened to the money?